Hello everyone and welcome to my Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Please note that if you purchase something by clicking on a link within this story, we may receive a small commission of the sale. Halloween is right around the corner and the bold and the beautiful's Heather Tom, Katie, has a treat for you. The CBS soap actress wanted to let her followers know that her best friend wrote the sweetest children's book for Halloween. And if you're one of the millions who order off of Amazon each week then you're in luck because it just got published on the company's site. In fact, it's not only available on Kindle Unlimited, for free, the book comes in a paperback as well and would be a great gift for that little goblin in your life. Zane and I are in the dedication, Tom shared, then went on to explain that the kindness spell, by Mr. Harcourt Hazen Pfeffer, is about a cute little rat named Griswold Witch, who is bullied and picked on by others. However, instead reacting in anger, he casts a, yep, you guessed it, a spell of kindness. The spell is entertaining and the pictures are amazing. She continued then expressed, I'm so proud of him. But that's not all. Her bestie also has three Halloween coloring books available too. The Cauldron Spell, which was inspired by Shakespeare's spell for the three witches featured in Macbeth, Cute Creatures, Adorable Monster, and Cute and Creepy Monster Party. At home, Donna studies a photo of her and Eric as Katie tells her life is short and try not to take it for granted. She knows this is heartbreaking, but she should take it as an opportunity. Honor Eric, love him and support him. Donna's voice cracks. I'll try. She's so scared for Eric. She intones, if only the world knew the truth. Eric is dying. In the design office, Eric learns that Lauren and Esther know each other through Catherine Chancellor. They recall how classy and elegant she was when she wore Forrester originals. Eric says she made the gowns sing. He's glad Esther is there and promises her a fashion show she'll never forget. They say their goodbyes and Eric tells them he'll see them tomorrow. Once alone, he resumes coughing and there is once again blood on the handkerchief. He angrily shoves the thing in the trash and glares.